Another week, another adventure. Let's go! Um, I'm at the airport right now. About to go to a new country. Uh, if you got the hint from the last video, and you definitely know by the time, we're going to Portugal, baby. So, um, no montage, but instead I got a sick transition for you guys. Watch this. What is up everyone? We made it to Portugal, baby. It is like so nice out here. Tourist Paul, ready to go, conquer Portugal. Uh, first, I'm gonna go to the hotel, and then we'll check in. And after that, we're free for the rest of the day. We're just gonna explore. So yeah, let's go. Look at this. This is like amazing. Amazing, let's go. What's up everyone, just a quick update. I went to the hotel, it's actually a hostel and I'm sharing the room with eight other people. Um, it's Technically this is all part of a group, uh, a student organization at UCD called, uh, it's uh, for the international students. So I'm technically with the group, but there's only like two or three group events planned, um, but the rest of it, you're just like free to go do whatever you want. So I'm definitely gonna try to explore as much of Lisbon as I can while I'm here. And I've just really been enjoying it. I mean, like the colors are beautiful. I mean, like, look at this. This is insane. Beautiful city. And the weather is so nice. It's like actually, it feels like spring, which is really nice. It's like 60s, high 60s-ish, like 65 with a breeze. So it's like really nice outside. Um, Really not much planned for the rest of the day. Just gonna go have dinner. It's almost like 6 p.m. So I'll show you guys around the city like after dark. Uh, so you can see a little bit of that. But um, yeah, this place is beautiful, y'all. I've never been to, well, this is like technically outside the US. This is the, the second country I've ever been to. But this is like a really, really unique country. I've never been to a country like this. I know that's saying a lot because like I haven't been to Ireland, but even still like, just like everything here is just so cool. I'm so excited to be here and to get to spend the next four days here. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll show you guys around the nightlife and then uh, we'll go ahead and start our adventures tomorrow. So peace. Welcome to day two in Lisbon. First stop, we're going to the Belen district. And we're gonna go see a tower and a, a cool monastery thing. So yeah, let's just head, head on the bus and then let's go over there. So let's go. So hey guys, uh, you must be thinking, wow, Paul, you changed. Um, so basically since I'm sort of with the group from UCD going on this, even though like I'm technically on my own, we had like our first group day and it's basically our only group day yesterday. So this is actually uh, Wednesday right now. And um, I really didn't have enough time to like do narrations like mid between going to different places. So I'm just gonna do like a little narration of my day yesterday here. So first we went to the Belém district. It's like, it was like 45 minute bus ride from uh, Lisbon. And uh, we toured this cool tower uh, that had been up since like a long time. I think it was like the 16th century or something like that. Um, it was really cool to see the inside and the view of the water was like amazing. Uh, so I really enjoyed uh, going into that and touring that. Uh, then after that, we went to um, this famous uh, pastry shop in, uh, it was close by, called like Pastel de something. I forgot the name of it, but I, yeah, I'm going to put it up there. It was, it was um, really good, 
the pastry that I got was like the staple like Portuguese pastry that uh, they're famous for uh, so that was pretty cool to get to try that it was like kind of cheesy I didn't like expect it to be like that it, it sort of looked like a weird cinnamon roll but um, it was really good I would definitely have one again uh, if I ever came back and then after that we wanted to go to the monastery uh, that was right next right next door but we saw the line that was like super long and it wasn't moving at all and um, so we just decided to go to a park nearby and just chill and then after the park we went to a museum nearby that was like the carriages for the kings and queens uh, so that was pretty cool to see the history of those and like the um, the, the different like designs that they had were really cool then we head back and uh, I kind of just took a nap I was kind of out of it for the day um, I did get some lunch and then afterwards the next big event was our dinner and uh, low-key we kind of got scammed I'm not gonna lie so <laughs> it was 30 euros for what we were told the group was told it was gonna be a four course meal uh, we only got three courses and uh, for the first course it, was, course, it was just like this bread and um, meat board or whatever. Um, and then the second course, I'm not even sure what it is. It was some sort of cod dish, but um, it was definitely an interesting dish. I wish that we would have just gotten like a grilled cod or something, but it was like a mashed cod mixture type thing. And then afterwards... We sort of like took a mini tour of the restaurant. It was pretty big. And um, after that, I was pretty tired. The other group went to some other like pubs and stuff around. Um, uh, but I went to one like karaoke thing that they wanted to go to. I just stayed there for like 30 minutes. Then uh, went, went to bed. I was pretty tired. Woke up, now we're here. And uh, first stop of today, is we're going, we're going to go on a walking tour of uh, Lisbon. It's gonna be two hours, so we're just gonna to get to see as much of Lisbon as we can. And uh, today's like my last full day, so I have to do like any touring thing that I want to do today. Otherwise, uh, I'm not gonna have enough time tomorrow. So we're just gonna to grind today, go exploring. Uh, I definitely wanna get some souvenirs and some other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'll meet you guys at the tour and um, I guess just enjoy the montage. Before the tour starts, I'm having breakfast. It's like this croissant uh, theme with cheese, uh, tomato and lettuce in it. And uh, it's really good.
So the tour guide told us this is the biggest tourist trap in all of Europe because you start down there, you pay five euros for a two minute ride up all the way here and then that's it when you can just walk up the stairs. y'all so i finished the tour and then afterwards i was pretty hungry so i went and had lunch took a nap and now we're back on the grind again um it's about four o'clock so i have a couple of hours before nightfall to get some more touring of uh, lisbon in uh yeah so i'm just gonna take you guys around with me we're gonna go look at some uh, museums and different like things and then uh, we're gonna go find some place to eat for dinner hopefully better than last night and uh, sadly, this is my last day in Lisbon. Uh, tomorrow morning's gonna be like early, so I'll be headed off to the airport. So not much um, to do tomorrow, but today's like the day to get everything done. So let's just go explore. So instead of going to museums, I went to two cathedrals instead. First one was called Covento de Graça. And it's one of the oldest, oldest covens in Lisbon. Uh, it was really cool. I really admired the tile art that they had, the different like paintings, but it was all done on tiles in blue. It was so pretty. That's one of my favorite like part things about Lisbon uh, was just getting to see all the tile art that they had on the houses and yeah, just all of it. It was everywhere. And the tour guide on the tour that I went on earlier explained that the tiles are really good for a low cost um, sort of exterior design because if they get damaged then you can replace one tile instead of having to re repair an entire wall and you don't have to repaint them they last like a long time so yada 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 uh, so yeah they're, they're really cool and then the second cathedral I went to is the Lisbon Cathedral or Seia de Lisboa uh, Lisboa is another term for Lisbon uh, it's, what, it's what it's called, but yeah. So this cathedral was like really old. It was made in um, 1147. So it's been through tons of earthquakes. And as you can see later, like there's a bunch of these cables like connected to various structures around to sort of keep it intact because it's, it's literally so old. But yeah, so that was cool to see. Oh yeah, before I forget um, about earthquakes, there was a really big earthquake that happened in 1755 that I learned about and it was an insane earthquake series of events first it was an earthquake then the whole city caught on fire and then there was like a tsunami thing that came from the coast so it was crazy wiped out like most of the population and they had to like literally rebuild the city so that was crazy I learned about that you can go look it up and find some more details but yeah, that was a big event that it happened in Lisbon's history that uh, formed it. Um, but yeah, anyways, afterwards, I just went and watched the sunset. And so that was really cool to see from this viewpoint.
Also, dinner was a lot better. I had like this chicken and rice dish, um, which was really nice. All right, y'all, um, it's Thursday. Didn't really do much last night. I promise like whenever I go to my next country, uh, which is the UK, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Cause like everyone knows already. Uh, once I go to the UK, I'll be definitely a lot better of narrating. Uh, what I'm doing in between clips and stuff but yeah this one was just like kind of hard but um yeah so I'll do better that in the next few videos but uh yeah as you can see I'm like full-on tourist Paul got my CR7 shirt suey baby um yeah Portugal has just been amazing and um I'm so sad that I have to leave so soon because there's like so much that I didn't get to do but yeah, overall, like 10 out of 10 would definitely come to Portugal again. again. Um, the weather is like so nice here. And the, everything from like the tiles on the road to like the tiles on the buildings, everything is like just so intricate and like done with a purpose. And it's all put together so well. And the thought and the effort behind keeping this city the way it looks to preserve it as like one of Europe's um, oldest um, countries slash cities. I'm pretty sure that's what Lisbon is. But yeah, that's just been incredible to see. And uh, I've had so much fun here. And I know that I, um, I can have a lot of fun throughout the rest of the spring break. But yeah, so um, for the last few hours that I'm here before I have to head to the airport, I'm just chilling at a park, gonna go get some breakfast. Then we'll head to the airport and go back to Dublin uh in time for saint patty's day so that's tomorrow and um i don't exactly know what all i'm gonna be doing tomorrow uh a lot of parades um and yeah so we'll just see how that day goes and then saturday morning i leave for the uk and i'll be there for like a solid like 10 days so that's gonna be nice um hope you all are excited hope you all like this vlog so without further ado um, let's just go soak in the last few hours and uh, head back to the airport. So before I ended my adventures, I made one last expedi expedition to go to Livriara Bertrand, which is officially the oldest functioning bookstore in the entire world. It's like Guinness World Record and everything. So I just like went around, looked inside. If you do get a book there, they give you a special stamp um, that looks pretty cool. I didn't get a book there because I didn't have any room in my luggage, but definitely if you go there, it's a pretty cool sight to see. Obviously it's been like remodeled and stuff, but it's the it's been functioning since um, 1732, so for a long time. Let's play football. World Cup, World Cup. Made it back to campus. So you know what that means, it's outro time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't do much narration. But yeah, you guys got to see a lot of the city and stuff. And it's definitely my goal to go back to Portugal and Lisbon again before I die. Lord willing, of course. Uh, but yeah, got a lot of, got a busy day tomorrow. Got a busy rest of the spring break. So I'll catch you guys in those videos. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys and peace. Let's go. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys some of the nightlife in the city because it's like almost 6 p.m. here. But um, yeah guys, I'm probably gonna... Come on. But um, yeah guys, I'm probably gonna show you some of like the night.
um yeah guys so it's almost like 6 p but yeah guys it's 